नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑनली ऑन भारत फर्स्ट दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड अ यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स यू हैव ऑल्सो ए चांस टू आस्क योर डाउट by the form whose link has been provided in the description box below do make use of this opportunity now i would like to welcome our science expert dr tv venkateswaran sir who is here with us to answer the question dr tv venkateswaran sir is a senior most scientist at vigyan prashad new delhi he is also the founder of india science wire so let's begin the session with today's question today's question is what is gaganyaan mission how it will help india to stand at par with other countries who have achieved this feat we know that the uh, space age began with uh, yuri gagarin a soviet uh, cosmonaut uh, going to space on 12th april 1961 he is the first uh, human being to uh, go to space okay and uh, if you look at uh, us the first uh, us uh, citizen uh, us astronaut go to go to space uh, that was uh, alan b shepard 1961 may 5 and if you look at uh, the uh, third country which has sent a human being to space is uh, china october 2003 sure rakesh sharma from india has gone to space but not from indian launch vehicle uh, we took a ride along with uh, the soviet uh, 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 rockets similarly people from many countries about 30 countries including afghanistan have gone to space largely because uh, the soviet union gave space for various uh, citizens to travel to space gaganyaan is a mission for india to put human being indian citizens in space with its own launch vehicle that is india's own mission to uh, go to space so what is planned is uh, that uh, uh, it will have a, a manned flight of course uh, technically we call it as manned flight it can be even women flight because the people who go to space need not be only men it can be women okay and uh, this has been named as gaganyaan and this is expected to boost india's uh, space program i mean uh, one of the new frontiers that uh, isro has opened up in the recent past is going beyond uh, communication satellites and uh, uh, remote sensing satellites to venture into what is called as uh, space exploration so this will be part of the space exploration so the idea is that uh, uh, yeah, a spacecraft carrying uh, humans uh, indian citizens will be launched which will uh, uh, be in the space for a certain amount of time those uh, details are yet to be uh, finalized uh, one of the earliest idea was to have these people in space for 5 to 7 days maybe in the initial uh, time maybe it will be only for uh, uh, some hours that is also possible depending on how uh, things emerge uh, the uh, indians will be orbiting earth in the space and then uh, they will land back on uh, earth that's i mean to send a human being indian to uh, space and bring them back safely that's in short the first objective of uh, gaganyaan this uh, means that uh, you need to develop uh, a large amount of uh, technology like if you have to put human being in space they will be able to breathe there okay they will be they should be able to have water food okay so the uh, uh, capsule which is carrying uh, uh, humans should be uh, able to come back right once it enters earth uh, when 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 it is entering earth i mean it will encounter uh, uh, a huge amount of uh, uh, heat temperature because of uh, uh, friction okay so you need a heat shield right so all this uh, uh, technology has to be developed and that's what is being developed as part of the uh, gaganyaan mission the original plan was to launch gaganyaan in 2022 but because of the covid Uh, all the plans have gone uh, uh, ch- change for a toss okay so the new uh, uh, rollout plan will be uh, soon uh, in place once uh, things settle and then uh, once uh, uh, details are planned the new plan and new deadlines will be in uh, 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 settled 
the 2022 was chosen because that's uh, marks the 75th uh, year of india's independence but maybe we will not be able to actually launch a human being in 2022 but certainly uh, uh, one human rated vehicle most likely will reach uh, space during that year 